or oh, I thought I'd make a quick video about the limitations of the Creality um, Spider V4 or the Ceramic Spider, Speedy Spider. There's heaps of names that they call it. Um, this is just finding out the max flow rate. So I think at the moment we're about 37 millimeters cube per minute. And you can see there the hot end is set to 260 and that's all we can do 255 so that is no fan and if you look up there that MOSFET there is on so that's the hot end so this thing is pegged and yeah even with 25% fan we can probably get to about 35 maybe um, it's probably worth noting that this is a 0.6 knockoff um, CHT, just a eBay special copper insert nozzle. So we'll just see how long this goes for. Every now and then we're getting 256 again. Don't know how hot that PTFE line is getting, but as you can see, it's still got a nice, nice flow to it. So yeah, that's 39. One thing I did discover with this um, Speedy Spider hot end, I don't know if you can see on the carriage there, I've actually split the air diffuser because that end does not like to be cooled at all. So the heat sinks, because it's all integrated, doesn't separate the two halves. Um, that's the ambient temperature in there as well, so it's 31 degrees in there. Um, again, any cooler and this thing just wants to uh, just run away from that 10 degrees from the set point and then just crashes out. That's 40. Still looking good. This is wet PETG as well, so there will be some bubbles and stuff in there. Did have some issues setting up this nozzle originally. Um, 100% fan speed on the hot end. This thing just couldn't hold temp anything above 230-ish. Um, it would just like, basically it just couldn't hold temp. So that's when the diffuser came in and stuck the uh, extruder fan on the PWM and brought the speed down. I've actually got it in here now. Um, where is it? I can just playing with the extruder speed in here. It's 42. We're at 255. Probably hold 255 if that's what it was set to. You can see that LED is just she's on this hot end would be a beast if it just had 10 more watts um, mk8 nozzles just on the quick change and it's a nice small cheap unit um, also to note the park cooling fans are off this thing does not like to be cooled at the hot end side and I don't know if those artifacts in the middle are just yeah just really hot plastic that hasn't had time to cool or
down to 2.53 at 44. So if you normally print it about 250, you should be fine up to this. Um, this again, this is with the Chinese knockoff 0 0.6 with the Creality Speedy Spider V4 ceramic hot end. We're about to lose this one. Still looks like it's keeping up. Again, on top we have a. There it goes. It's true, not hitting as expected. So we got basically um, dropped more than 10 degrees from the set point. Couldn't keep up. And I'll probably just restart this because no fan and that filament's going to melt in there. I was going to say the um, so minimus fan shroud with just a 4010 um, extruder fan on it and yeah an orbiter v2 that thing's been a beast so yeah hopefully this helps people out on um, finding the limitations I hadn't found too much on the internet about um, the actual real limitations of what this hot end can do. Again, this is no part cooling. Definitely, if you're going to push up into that mid 40s range, definitely for infill with the 0.6, it's doable. It's just whether you can keep that thing hot enough. Cheers, guys.